I think you've seen this in a few videos. Uh, this is a wheelbarrow that was given to me and it's in bad shape. It kind of came to me like this. Uh, I've been using it but really kind of embarrassed. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong with it. Take a look at this. That's bent. It needs to be replaced. Uh, I've got some nice metal for that and you can see where the wood is now starting to degrade to the point where it, I don't even think it's holding on. In fact, nope, it ain't holding on to anything. So we're going to have to replace that and I think this bar is seen its day as well. So I'm going to uh, manufacture a new one and we'll get that going. Um, tire's good. It's not bad. Got to put some air in it once in a while. Um, shaft and uh, I don't know if it's bearings in there or not or just steel on steel but it works. Put a little, put a little oil on there. It works like a charm. Probably going to break a couple of these bolts off um, and I'm going to have to replace them but that's fine. A couple of bolts doesn't matter. And the rest of the hardware is in good shape. Like, I mean, that's pretty good steel. It's not bent. It's not broken. So we're just going to uh, fix that up. The uh, shell itself is in... Hey, it's plastic. It's not going anywhere. Never rust. Um, so what we're going to work on first are these handles. And I've got some really nice birch from um, a local mill. And we're going to replace these first and then start working backwards from there. So I have two really nice pieces of birch. It's a good hardwood. Not a lot of knots. The knots that are in here aren't that important. But uh, had these cut down, a friend of mine. A shout out to uh, Tom, thank you very much. Thumbs up. And we've got it to a point where now I can start working with it. He was nice enough to put it through the planer on uh, four sides. But I think this is a little too thick. Um, I want to cut it down a portion of this to you know about two inches and then that'll bring me down to a nice square piece um, take some of these hard edges off with the planer and uh, cut her down to size I need 60 inches I think this is about hundred and ten inches right now see a nice little birch a little bit of waning at the end it doesn't matter I'm gonna be cutting it off but uh, beautiful pieces of wood and nice to work with as well going on there oh it's gonna look so nice <laughs> here we go we got two nice square pieces almost square there's a top and a bottom and sides to them and we're got we're cut down to 62 inches yes that's two inches longer I'm a tall guy I want to I want a tall man's wheelbarrow handle. So I gave myself two extra inches. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There's the, uh, there's the handle. I uh, rounded it off pretty good. So there's a big difference between this handle and that one. I can, I can show you the difference. But the, uh, the other one is more of a, you know, more of a, a girly handle. This is a, a man handle. This is man's, this is a man's tool. So it needs to be pretty girthy and that's going to give a lot of strength to this wheelbarrow. That's the